what in the name of great Odin's raven was Gartner thinking? It's famous for its magic quadrant. It's a kind of magic. But the recent publication of its first ever quadrant for 4G and 5G private mobile network services is a hot mess. Conflating vendors of 4G and 5G technology in the same magic quadrant magic. with service providers and systems integrators has created mass confusion in our industry. Treating vendors like Ericsson and Nokia as challengers alongside their service provider customers only complicates the already complex competitive landscape. Moreover, merging the analysis of 4G and 5G in a single 12,000 word report is a mistake. 4G is a 20 year old bandwidth boosting technology, while 5G represents a cloud native shift essential for bridging the old network capacity with a new realm of virtualized AI-driven services. In the long run, building private industry 4.0 networks on 4G is a terrible idea. And by not distinguishing between the two, Gartner's magic quadrant magic. risked perpetuating the errors of the early 5G adopters like Deutsche Telekom, which rolled out faux 5G networks without genuine cloud capabilities. And then there's the fact that Gartner's private network's magic quadrant magic. is guilty of significant emissions. Everyone knows that the leaders in the private 5G market are Ericsson, Huawei, Nokia, Samsung, and ZTE, with Cisco, Juniper, IBM, and Mavenir challenging them. But the magic quadrant magic. misses six of those key vendors, including Huawei, which underpins countless 5G networks. This is a horrendous oversight that does a disservice to anyone looking to navigate their digital industrial strategy. It's a kind of magic. For now, I recommend companies considering private 5G deployments to consult ChatGPT instead of Gartner. Hey, it's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic.